Hey everyone, for today's topic, we are going to talk about the hidden truth, downsides of buying luxury handbags. So let's go ahead and talk about it. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Sigrid. You may call me Ziggy. I talk about luxury handbags, real estate, travel, finance, and minimalism in this channel. So today we're going to dive into a topic that's often glamorized but rarely discussed openly and the downside of buying luxury handbags. So while these designer items might seem like the ultimate status symbol, there are some important aspects that often get overlooked. So whether you're a fashion enthusiast or just curious about the realities behind luxury, this video is actually for you. So let's go ahead and get started. The first one that I wanted to talk to you guys about is, number one is financial impact. Luxury handbags come with hefty price tags and buying them can significantly strain your budget. We'll discuss how overspending on these items might lead to financial instability and potential regrets down the line. Look at this Hermes handbag right here that is worth $26,200 in the secondary marketplace. Come on, you guys. This is so expensive. I mean, you know, the real people who can actually just afford these are probably the 1% of our society or even like the 10%. But most people would not even be able to afford this. And that's really the reality, you know. There's a whole lot of financial impact to think about when we're buying these very, very expensive things. Number two is rapid depreciation. Unlike some investments, luxury handbags tend to lose their value quickly. And I'll explain the concept of depreciation and how it affects the resale value of your bags. Look at this Louis Vuitton bag, you guys. I mean, the retail price is supposed to be 2570 And this is just bought back in 2020. And now they're selling it for 2045 if you bought this in the store, you already lost money by bringing it over to Fashion File because they're actually not going to buy it for you for 2045 or 2570 Maybe the person who actually sold this to Fashion File probably just sold it for 1850 you know, that type of thing or even less than that. So that's really the impact of rapid depreciation. And the third one, of course, obviously you guys is maintenance cost so owning luxury handbags isn't just about the initial purchase cost there are often maintenance and costs associated with keeping them pristine condition from professional cleaning to storage solutions these expenses can add up over time you guys we can also count in and add insurance here because obviously if you have very expensive bags you also need insurance so there's like a whole lot of really that we need to think about, you guys. And another thing, too, that I wanted to talk about is, number four, peer pressure and materialism, you guys. Society emphasizes on luxury goods that can contribute to a sense of peer pressure and materialism. Just look at this one right here, where friends and friends and everybody else, they're all just using all of these luxury handbags, right? So there's the impact of self-esteem and personal values, really, you guys. Number five is environmental impact. The luxury fashion industry isn't always known for its sustainability practices. And so this is an example right here where Coach is basically scrambling because they were being backlashed over allegations that they have destroyed inventory that are unsold. And so there's really like a whole lot of things really, you guys, that we need to consider as far as when we are buying our luxury handbags, right? Um, some people would prefer buying uh, luxury handbags in the stores, I suppose to buying, um, you know, in uh, secondary marketplaces such as Fashion File, which we cannot really, you know, blame these people like myself because, you know, I am also concerned about authenticity, that type of thing, right? So there's really a whole lot of things about um, the environmental mental impact. Um, and of course, number six, obviously, is emotional tall, right? Um, sometimes the desire for luxury items can lead to stress and anxiety. And, you know, uh, it's also leading to like FOMO. So number seven, you guys, I think that there are a lot of alternatives and being mindful of being a consumer. 
So first off, you know, uh, one of the alternatives that I would tell you is being a minimalist. Well, obviously, we're all not wired the same way, but I think that being mindful with what we're buying is very important and making informed choices and decisions and values and our financial goals before making any purchases. And obviously, there are also social critiques and consumerism out there that will critique every single person's um, whatever they have, right? So that doesn't only shield us from just, uh, you know, handbags, but also other luxury items such as watches, that type of thing, and all those things. And the reality is, you guys, number nine, um, perception versus reality. So many people view luxury handbags as a symbol of success and happiness. But then, you know, behind that perception, there's really one truly thing that leads us to fulfilled life, right? It's being happy, which is basically number 10, personal experiences and stories that we can share to other individuals. So navigating the world of luxury handbags and discussing both those positives and negatives that we're encountering is really what we need to do in this community. So remember, you guys, the purpose of this video is not to discourage anyone to pursue their fashion interest or any of, you know, buying the expensive luxury handbags, expensive watches, everything, what have you. It's really the perspective of having downsides of these things that go unspoken. And it's all about making informed decisions that align us with our values and goals. So if you found this video helpful or thought-provoking, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more insightful discussions. Again, let's engage in the comment section below and I'd love to hear your thoughts on this topic. Thank you everyone for watching and until next time, I will talk to you later. Bye for now.